Okay, today in Civil 3D 2010, we're going to be talking about cross sections of roadways, uh, varying widths of our different layers of pavement, whether it's uh, your sub base or your base or uh, first or second layers of pavement. We're going to talk about how to change those widths, not only the uh, thickness, but the width of that lane. So uh, I have saved a view here of my assembly and we were going to zoom into that. In 2010 we have some extra assemblies uh, that are sub-assemblies that have been created for us and keeping up with these can be really hard so I definitely recommend using your help menu uh, to take a look at each of these. Uh, if you right click on any sub-assembly it'll tell you exactly what it is and how it works. Also each parameter, what the codes are, uh, for your links and your points and your shapes. So I would check those out, but for today we're going to use uh, this lane inside super layer with varying widths. And if we take a look at that, that allows us to change, you know, here's our attachment point, if you will, and it, we can change the different widths of different layers of pavement. And we can rename these layers of pavement uh, and do all kinds of cool things. Uh, but when I apply that to this assembly, you see, and I zoom in here, I have many different pavement widths. In fact, uh, I believe we have, if we take a look, we have 10 different pavement uh, thicknesses. So if you were to, uh, if you had a, a specific sub-assembly that you needed to use and you didn't have enough pavement widths, like if we were to use a standard lane here, lane outside super, I'll, I'll just bump that on the end here. Notice how there's only four pavement uh, thicknesses. This has 10, so if you need more than that, this is also a great sub-assembly for that. However, for now, we are going to change this, and we're going to name the first uh, thickness pave 1. It's going to have a thickness of two or a depth of two inches. Uh, second pavement, pave two. It will have a depth of two inches as well. And our third layer of pavement, we're going to call it base. All right. And that is going to have uh, four inches. Notice how our subassembly is updating as we go here. However, our width specification, we're going to match inside offset dash outside offset okay where I can change either my inside offset if I were to change that this is what that would look like okay it would bump that offside or that inside offset to the left there uh, if I set that back to zero obviously that changes the outside offset is what I do want to change here so we'll put it at 0.25 let's say Notice that that jumps out. Our, our next layer of pavement is going to be called subbase. And that is going to have a depth of one foot. We will go with the same width specification. Uh, however, we're going to make that one foot. I want to note here that it is one foot from the top layer of pavement, or I should say the layer of pavement above my subbase or my base here. Um, so they step off 0.25 and then one foot. You can see uh, that's that's incremental. All right, so we've set up our varied uh, width for our pavement structure, and we're going to just add in uh, basic curb and gutter, and I will add in also a basic sidewalk. And if you're not liking the way this looks, that's okay. We're going to change that later on. Uh, and I'm going to go to a, a generic link slope to surface. Uh, not sure if any of you use this. However, I use it all the time. A lot of times, all I want is a 3 to 1. I don't need anything too fancy. just want to maintain 3 to 1 all the time on the edge of our roadway. So I will mirror these sub-assemblies to the left-hand side of our road and we can move on. So creating a corridor from this is obviously simple. I just pick my alignment, 
I pick my profile and we pick our assembly. I am only going to start it here and we will end it here uh, for a simplified corridor. Apply my daylights and here we go. So this is nice. This is set up the way that I was looking for it to be set up. If we were to maybe create a couple of uh, sample lines, maybe one sample line based on this road, uh, we'll take a look at existing grade and we'll also look at that roadway. Uh, we'll go to the basic style there and just add one sample in right there. We can create a section view, just one section view of that. And here we go. Now, did this intentionally. Every once in a while people run into this, get a bunch of labels in your cross-section views. Just take a look at the section view properties. Okay, section view properties. And on sections, Okay, it's going to call out your styles and your labels. You see here, labels. I'm going to import a set that has no labels. Say OK and OK. And magic, it's gone. All right, but now we've got some issues here where those pavement widths don't really look right for that curb. So you know what? Let's go back up here and edit these both of these curves and we're gonna make that curve uh, curb height 1.25 uh, and uh, I'm sorry the width 1.25 in fact you know what let's go with 0.5 uh, grade of negative 1 curb height let's go with 1 width of 0.5 and a depth of 1.25 and, and we'll see what that looks like. Well, that's something, not necessarily what we're looking for. So you know what? Let's get rid of that altogether and just add in a standard curb. This is found in the basics. Basic curb. There we go. And I will move this to here. And this to here, and we should be good to go. Uh, maybe we delete both of those in mirror. All that work over to the left-hand side of our road. Okay. Well, rebuilding the corridor is super simple. You just rebuild this corridor, and our cross sections will update. However. Our daylights go away. Uh, if you've worked with Civil 3D before, you know that that has to do with your targets. You do need to reset your targets to existing grade. Say OK. And there we go. We have varying widths of our pavement going underneath the curbing. We can adjust that curb in any way. Uh, but that is it. Uh, once again, I would check out all these new sub assemblies. They are. Uh, just mixed in. There's a, an, a reorder of our tabs here. It's kind of broken it up by lanes and shoulders now, um, along with some new daylight features, which I'll talk about in my next post. All right, have a great day.